My name's Ian Ashbridge and I'm Farmers Weekly's business editor. There isn't a farmer in the country who hasn't heard at some point that farming needs to be more sustainable. We're told it by government, we're told it by Europe. But what exactly does it mean? It's one of those buzzwords which nobody ever seems really to be able to define. Well, Farmers Weekly's teamed up with Lloyd's TSB Agriculture and we're here at Adam Henson's farm in Gloucestershire. And what we're going to try and do is look at the word sustainability and try and pin down exactly what it means. What we've already found is that it can mean anything. It can mean environmental sustainability, economic sustainability, or vice versa. And very often what's economically sustainable isn't environmentally sustainable. So in six short films, we're going to try and pin down exactly what sustainability means, not just in an environmental context, but also in a business one. Adam Henson's better known as a television presenter and the face of BBC Countryfile, but you're also a commercial arable and livestock farmer, aren't you, Adam? That's right, yes. I'm very fortunate to have taken on the farm tenancy from my father. So I'm second generation tenant on a 1,600 acre farm. There's a thousand acres or roughly a thousand acres of arable cropping. So we grow wheat, spring barley, winter barley and oilseed rape. We also have about 600 acres of permanent pasture for our commercial flock of clean and Romney ewes. But then alongside that, my dad's passion was keeping rare breeds of farm animals. So we've got a large array of British rare farm animals that we now have open to the public at the place called the Cotswold Farm Park that dad opened in 1971. So he's very forward thinking to be considering diversification then. We we welcome around 70 to 80,000 visitors, lots of schools, so quite education is a very important part of that. But alongside that diversification, we obviously have a shop and a cafe within it. We now have a caravan site, we offer horse fun rides, so there's a 12 mile ride around the farm with around 70 optional jumps and we run those every three weeks. We provide animals for photo shoots and films, so we're really thinking very diversely outside the commercial side of our business as well. And the whole business now is run with my partner, my business partner, Duncan Anderson. Andrews, and we run the whole thing 50-50. Adam, your arable operation also has a, a, is also a joint venture partnership with another farmer, isn't it? That's right, yes. Hamish Campbell up the road approached us and, and said, would we like to get into a joint venture farming operation with him? So he set up a limited liability partnership, really with the help of Lloyds Bank and their advice. And we share machines and we share key operators to run the whole farm. So the arable area has now more than doubled to spread the overheads of the men and machines across it. And it's working incredibly well. We can get top quality machines and precision farming is the key. And we're finding some good savings already. <laughs> Adam, as a commercial farmer, how often do you hear the word sustainability thrown at you? Well, more and more nowadays, really. And it's such a broad-reaching word that many people don't understand. And I think some farmers would dismiss it, possibly because they don't really understand it, can't get their head around it. But many would think about sustainability as being really the key element being environmental. Uh, but I think it's a lot more to that. I think environmental issues are very, very important and they are a very important part of sustainable farming. But also, I think the key to it is the financial implications. So you've got to have a really good, solid business to be able to fund reinvestment and to be able to run the staff and the families that work on that farm. And then leading on to that, I suppose, is the social element. Those staff, the families, the ancillary businesses that are connected with the farming industry. So it's a big topic to get your head round. So what does that mean in the context of your business, Adam? What are you doing to make your business more sustainable? Well, we're very fortunate here to have a, a three-generation tenancy, and I'm second generation, so there's a long-term view on the farm here and, and what we're doing on it. Financial implications are key, so, you know, a good business structure is essential. And Duncan Andrews, my business partner, is very, very good at business management. We have the support of our bank, we've got a great accountants, and we use advisors and consultants whenever we need to. And setting up a, a good business strategy so that you can reinvest and so that you can invest off the farm as well is very, very important. So we're looking at that carefully. And of course, what comes from behind that is all the aspects that we run on the farm. So we have quite a diverse business with our livestock, our arable, our diversification with the Cotswold Farm Park and other things we do and they all have to stand up on their own right but what they don't do uh, they're not all the eggs in one basket you know yeah. well, one's up the other one's down perhaps but they all look after each other to a certain degree and then if that all runs smoothly then you have a, a good solid base for your family to grow up on the farm you're supporting the people that work for you we've got 50 seasonal staff and about five or six full-time staff on the farm and then all the ancillary businesses that you buy from and sell to and it really sets up the whole farming structure to be sustainable long-reaching environmental and you know the whole thing comes together so it's quite a complicated web 
It really so we're, is. We're, we're, we're getting nearer to pinning down what sustainability means, but I think we, we probably want to look at it now and say, well, what does it mean environmentally? What does it mean in terms of, of arable systems and, and the way we farm um, arable land commercially today? Should we go and have a look at that? Indeed.